Hey guys, Moana Pover here, and today we're going to talk about what is the definition of success based on what I believe is true. So let's get to it. So how would you define success? Some people will tell you that, hey, if you have a lot of money, and I want to talk about that because this is basically a business channel. So many people will tell you, hey, just have more money, just have a better business, a bigger business, and you'll be successful. You're successful. You have a successful business. You're good now. You're happy. You're successful. You don't need any more than that. And many people sell you that dream, the fact that, hey, just, just have a successful business and you'll be good. Don't worry, don't worry about the rest. I don't think it's true. And, and what I found out is that many people out there, what they're doing is, sorry, so many people out there, what they're doing is they're going out there and they're doing everything they can to just become successful at business. But what they're doing is they're forgetting about their other things, like their health. Um, so basically there are four things, right? Health, wealth, love, and happiness. If you only have one of them, guys, it's not enough in my opinion. And what I found out, and especially when I'm focusing on the business uh, side of things right now, is that people do everything they can to just focus on success in business. And they're taking their actions from a place of luck, of um, basically many times depression, and they think that taking those actions from that space and only focusing on business, that's what's going to make them successful, that's what's going to make them happy. And it's really hard to get in, to, to, to think that that's the way because people will sell you that dream that, hey, just, just have a business and you'll be good. Just have enough money coming in and you'll be good. But it's not the case. I think you should work on all of those four areas at the same time. If you don't take care of your health, there's going to be really, you, 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 first of all, you won't have the energy. You won't feel good about yourself. Like for me right now at this stage, if I'm not working out in the morning, I feel bad about myself. And, and not from a place of, hey, I'm, I'm not good enough, but from a place that, I just woke up, I work out because I want to basically take care of myself. And then I know that if I can take care of myself first thing in the morning, I can then go out there into the business world. And because business is all about impact and contribution. And when I start my day taking care of myself, I know I can then go out and take care of others by impacting them, by giving value to the world, by basically doing as much as I can in the business to give value to people. But unless I focus on the other areas, it's going to be really, really hard to, to go out there and really give as much as I can. And same goes with, with happiness and love or, or all the other areas. Focusing on one thing isn't enough. I believe you should have habits for all of those four things that you should focus on daily. And if you forget about one of them, you'll see you will eventually something will won't feel right and you won't be fulfilled. And when you're not fulfilled, when you're doing business from a place that isn't fulfilled, it's really hard to be successful. When you already feel good inside, you feel like you're fulfilled, you're good, then business will be good as well because your business is just a reflection of you, who you are. It's literally just a mirror of your personal life. That's what I really, really believe in. And unless you really take responsibility for everything internally and in other areas of your life, and not just business, it's going to be really hard to be successful in business. So remember, have habits for all of those. I can tell you, for example, in the habit of happiness, I'm doing a lot of meditations and everything I can to literally dive into my subconscious, release some negative beliefs, some negative, you can say, traumas from my childhood. All of those things are really, really helping me to be as fulfilled as I can in the business. And obviously mentors for me it's all about finding mentors of people who are already where you want to be and when you are around those people who already have the results that you want i mean it's a it's a game changer because your beliefs are going to be different and especially if those people keep keep you accountable and give you the support and mindset help that's a game changer because unless you have that constant accountability and support from those people unless you have someone literally watching your back on a weekly basis and telling you hey this you're doing good, this is good, this is bad, and giving you literally just a second set of eyes from an objective point of view. Because when you're looking, when you try to be objective about yourself and keep yourself accountable, it's really, really hard because you're really emotionally attached to everything you're doing. And when you have someone that already got the results that you want, who can take a look at what you're doing and from a very objective, logic mind, just tell you, hey, no, this you're doing right, this you're doing wrong. You got to change this a little bit a little bit right or a little bit left, the, the, the changes over the long run from those small differences, like when someone just literally tell you a little bit, just, just go right a little bit or go, just go left a little bit, those results in the long run can be huge, like a huge difference. So you got to have that constant support and mentors. 
And if you want to explore um, me and my team to be your mentors and your accountability and your support, we can definitely help you in the place of buying businesses or growing your existing businesses by acquisitions, by going and buying other companies, or we also give other people options to just invest capital in our deal. So if that's something you want to explore with us, go to moranpober.com forward slash quiz, see the details there by, based on who you are. If you don't have a business yet, if you have a job, or if you, even if you have a small business, like less than half a million, then you have a very different uh, I guess path to go versus someone who already have an existing business doing at least half a million or a million a year and then we can show you how to grow by acquisitions or again if you have just capital that you want to put in and you don't want to be involved in the active pursuit of buying businesses then that's a completely different path that we can walk you through as well and we can introduce you some of our deals so yeah i hope you enjoyed it guys remember definition of success in the end of the day it all comes back to your internal world and unless your internal world is fulfilled and again, it's all about those four areas. It's not just about one thing. To be successful, I don't believe that it's about one thing. It's about constantly growing in all of those four areas. And the only way to grow in those four areas at the same time is to have daily habits that represent each of those every day that you repeat again and again and again. And you also got to have the support and accountability around you so you can basically have the right adjustments while you're moving forward towards your goals. And when you constantly... Because it's about the journey in the end of the day, right? I can tell you 100%, it's not about achieving the results. And even if you're going to buy one business or 10 businesses, it's not about achieving those results. It's about enjoying the journey. As, as, as what was it sound, and I'm sure you heard it before, but unless you're really enjoying in your day-to-day, -day, it's going to be really hard to enjoy it when you have the results. And what I found out is whenever you get a result, like, don't get me wrong, closing deals is amazing. But what you find out is cool, you close a deal, but that's just like you sign the, the, the last agreements and it's like one day, what's next? So 99% of your life is going to be spent in the journey and not in the achievements of result. So you got to find a way to be fulfilled and happy and motivated and, and, and passionate about the journey. And unless you do that, it's going to be really hard to, to be successful. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. It really helps me with the growth of the channel. And like the video as well. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what is your definition of success, I guess. And I'd love to see those answers and, and get back to you with my thoughts. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon.